Hey YouTube, it's your girl Body by Tarista, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about having surgery in state or having surgery out of the country. <laughs> what I didn't like about out of the country um, out of the country I didn't like that the place I stayed in didn't have air conditioning which they never told me I didn't like that the fact that when I had my blood drawn um, the nurse didn't have gloves on that's nasty and by the way I went to Dominican Republic to have my breast done and I love my breast though I mean I can't complain about my breast but um, the bedside service sucked they make you stay down there 14 days, I believe. 14, not to say 15 days. For real? Damn! And just for breasts. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, and the food. Oh my gosh. The food sucked. Um, also, I want to give a disclaimer that this may not have happened to other people but this is just what happened to me this is what i experienced and i just want to tell about my experience in dominican i don't know what happened to anybody else but this is what happened to me um and also i also want to say the good things that happened in dominican um, i met a lot of beautiful women that were having surgery um in dominican and i'm thankful for that because i got some connections that i needed but um other than other than that i wouldn't recommend it um i went to my doctor she um was very rude you know, my breast had um, tore and she just told me to go to urgent care here in the States, which I mean, it was probably nothing she could have done, but I just felt like if she had at least said, hey, this is what this is gonna do, don't worry about it. She didn't give me no assurity. She was just like, well, basically, what am I gonna do? You're all the way in the States. So, I mean, I didn't like that. So um, ladies, when you're thinking about going out of the country, just kind of remember that um, you are going out of the country. So if anything happens, there's nothing that the states can do for you um also when i woke up i needed a blood transfusion which i really felt like i really didn't need um and the reason why they made me do a blood transfusion is because they claim i didn't have i lost too much blood um they gave me this little blue pill to go to sleep with i woke up two times while i was having surgery in the middle of her doing my breast augmentation I'm waking up and I see her holding my old breast tissue, my breasts, and I had other implants in, my old ones in her hand, and she's saying to me, these is no good or I can't, I can barely, but it's, it was so like a dream. Literally, it could have been a movie. Um, so I was terrified about that. Um, the food was so nasty for aftercare. I mean, it was kind of like I was in jail. I would say, you know, I could picture that being an in jail moment. Like, I don't know exactly how jail goes, but I don't, I would think that was the feeling like literally we had bars on our windows in the um, in the recovery house, which that scared me. Um, do you guys remember the old, um, you know, when we were younger, our parents used to say, come in the house when those lights turn on. And we had those poles with the wires. One like that, they had those. Um, and I understand that it's, uh, I'm not bashing Dominican Republic because I love Dominican Republic and either, even with all the stuff that's going on out there, I'm just giving you guys a synopsis of what I went through, what I saw, and so you guys can determine or whether you want to do it. Um, a lot of people say, um, 
that they want to go to Dominican. So I just want to give you guys that do's and don'ts. So what I recommend is that you actually research the place that you're going to stay. You research the doctor. And I'm not talking about the pictures that they put on Instagram because a lot of the women that came back to the room did not look good. They did not look like her work. They all wanted to kept telling me, oh, I want to look like you and I hope she does me like you. And they, they looked horrible. And I didn't really want to, you know, I'm a real person. So I had to like let them know. I didn't tell them in a mean way, but I was just like, that's not what you're supposed to look like when you come back. You should really look, when you come back from having surgery, if you're getting a butt lift, you should look ill built. You should, your butt should be so big compared to your legs that you just looking like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And the reason why you want that is because a half of that or almost all of that is gonna go away. So you want it to go, you wanna be, you want them to put more in. They were coming back just looking regular, like, I don't know. But let's get off of the bad things because I did have good experiences there. Um, let's talk about the price. Price was great. My breasts were so cheap um, and she did a great job on my breasts. I can't, you know, I can't deny that. Like, I don't have a bra on now. Like, they, they sit up. I don't have to worry about them. They're not, like, up here. I don't want them like that. So, I mean, they're, they're like, the best to me. Cause, because I had them done twice. And the reason why I went back is because he didn't do them correctly. So, the guy that did my butt did my breast as well. But I don't know what was going on. They were lopsided. They were hanging. They weren't right. So I'll give her that. She did really great on my breasts. So she is a breast doctor. Um, but as far as bodies, she was not snatching bodies. And it's one of the biggest doctors in Dominican that you guys all say, oh, I want her to do my body. I want her to do my body. Yeah, it was her that. And uh, one that I that was, because I was seeing them, because you know, as you go back to your checkups, you will see other people and you'll be asking, who did your body? Who did your body? There's a man down there that was snatching bodies. Now he's known for people dying on this table, but that man was snatching bodies. So I know you guys probably know who I'm talking about. I don't want to say names. I don't know how this YouTube stuff goes, but I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. Um, the hospital beds were like the old, back in the days, I can almost picture like our grandmas um, with those wood grain in the hospital. It was like so old, so that scared me. Um, and people, I know y'all gonna ask me, well, why'd you do it? Because I just did it. I just did it, you know? The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> but I'm just trying to help somebody else that, you know, maybe thinking about going and tell them, you know, what I went through and making sure that they um, research and make sure they research the hospital. So ask them, what hospital will they be having me at? What um what recovery house would they be having at having me at? Is there air? Is there a water filter? There was no water. We had to drink well, I drunk bottled waters the whole time. You do not want to drink anybody else's waters. Drink bottled waters. If I were you guys, a lot of my friends are going to Columbia. I would do Columbia. Um I had not been or experienced it, but I'm going with a friend in October. I'm gonna do a YouTube video on it so I can let you guys know how that goes. But as far as Dominican, hmm, I would say no. I mean, but as far as when I came to in the in-state in -state surgery, I recommend if you do your research on a doctor. If your doctor is good with bodies, um, then I definitely recommend it. If you have the money to go, then I definitely recommend it. A lot of people are like, oh, well, they do botch jobs out of the country and that's why they charge so cheap. No, ma'am, their money, our money is worth way more than their money. So the same amount of money that we're paying them, whether it's 3,000, 2,000, you got to times that by whatever their money is worth at that time. They're getting the same amount of money. So I hate when people say that to me. They still getting paid. But please stop thinking that just because you paying 3,000 or 5,000 for your whole body that you're getting a deal or that is so cheap. Why is it so cheap? No, it's not really cheap. It's really still that 15,000, 20,000 that you would pay here in the States. It's just that our money's worth more over there. So of course it's, it's better for us, but it's, it's the same for them. So that's one thing that I wanted to let you guys know. Um, in the States, great bedside. Um, I had great bedside service. 
my doctor answer every call they give you medication out of the country they don't give you medication so don't think you're going down there and you're gonna get percocets or something for the pain you're not they don't give you that so um that's a tip oh the food i mean i'm in america so the food was better here in america um, we had air conditioning in america i was more comfortable i was on a beach um i only had to stay seven days so, I mean, those are the pros of having your surgery in the country, in our country, in the USA. So, ladies, last but not least, I just want to let you guys know, make sure that you're doing your research. I use Real Self. Real Self is the website that I use to find my doctor. Um, whatever you want to do, make sure you research that that doctor is good at what you're looking for. And you need to have real reviews, which is on Real Self. Those are real live reviews on doctors. So, um if you what i did wrong was i went to the doctor same doctor that did my butt and tried to get my breasts done and he's not a breast doctor if you look at his breasts online he's not that good so whatever you want done look the doctor up make sure that he's good at what he does and also look up your recovery house when i'm in the u.s i just get a hotel room and i just have my friend come and she takes care of me so um that's all you really got to do but if you want to go out of the country Columbia is where I would go. Um, that's only because I have about five or six friends that have been already and they loved it. They had the same experience that I had when I was here in Miami. So I feel like that if you guys want to go somewhere, check out Columbia. Again, that's just a disclaimer. I don't want to say don't go to Dominican because you may have a doctor you've been looking at and you know he's good at what he's good at. So you guys, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, Make sure you comment below, but like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, okay, you guys? Thank you so much, and you guys have a blessed day.